Our basic Swift data query code looks like this. Just simply at query sort prospect name via prospects as an array of prospect. And by default, that's going to load all the prospect model objects, sorting them by their name. And while that's fine for the everyone tab, it's not enough for the other two. In our app, we have three instances of our prospect view across this tab part bottom. And they vary only according to this filter type value being passed in here. We're already using that. So the title of our navigation area here, but we can also use that to filter our query. Yes, we already have this default query in place right now, but if we add an initializer, we can override that when a filter is set. And so we add a custom initialize to our prospects view. Now down here, we'll say init with a filter filter type. Stash that away straight away in our local property. And then if we are not on the none filter, which is the def default for everyone, leave that alone as it is, it's fine as it is. If we're not on that, then we want to show either only contacted or non-contacted folks. Do that, we'll say, let's show contact only equals filter equals equals dot contacted. More on that in a minute, don't worry. Then we'll assign to our prospects query a new query with a filter in place using hash predicate. And this thing will do dollar zero dot is contacted is equal to show contacted only like that. And then for our sort, we'll do a sort descriptor array and I'll pass in prospect uh, dot name like that sort in the same way. Now we've looked at creating queries manually previously. Okay. But there's one line of code here that stands out very, very much this one right here. And if this makes you do a double take, let's just break it down to two parts. First, we have this check here. Filter is equal to contacted. So that's going to say is filter the thing that's been passed in equal to contacted. If it is, it'll return true. Otherwise, it'll be false. So this will become true or it'll become false, depending on the value of that check. And then we have let show content only equals that value. And so it will assign the result of this check here to a new constant called show content only. And so we read the whole thing sort of out aloud. It means set this constant here to true if our filter is set to contacted. Otherwise, make it false. And this makes our Swift data predicate easy because we can compare that directly against the is contacted property attached to our model earlier on. With that new initializer in place, we can now create a list to just loop over all the resulting array that comes back and it'll show both the title and email address of each person uh, using a VStack. So you can just go ahead and replace your text we had earlier, the little counter thing we had with an actual list here. So this thing here, scrap that. We're gonna say the list of our prospects with one prospect uh, coming in. And then just fix the alignment slightly. There we go. Inside here will be a VStack with alignment of dot leading text prospect dot name in a font of dot headline. Then a text of prospect dot email address with a foreground style of secondary, like so. And now, if you run the app again, hopefully <clears throat> we can see, yeah, things looking much better.